Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea of STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we were ever able to um, use our new app. Let me do it really quick here. I will show you how to scan an uh, item. You can see that's the tag ID. And then you allows me to do uh, QWERTY, let's just, then end, and then description, QWERTY again, quick question, uh, storage, I'm just doing whatever to save time, and then PO pie day, and then save the item, saved to into the inventory and now you can see is the other one right there it was just created now I can go and generate a report and generate a report I can email it and then now inventory report call it uh, two 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 save now going to the Google Drive that's just for the people that did not watch my last tutorial, so they know what I'm getting at. And there it is. Uh, actually, that's the wrong one. It's this one right here. And you can see, it's the one right there. Quick question, QWERTY, quick question. And we're going to do that. And basically, let's go back. And let's go into our app. And this is the app. So basically, in order to get here, we need to go take some steps, baby steps, one at a time. In the last tutorial, I'll show you how to create um, Expo Go app using the uh, sandbox uh, from Expo. In this tutorial, we're going to go from the sandbox into the build. So this is a build uh, app. This, this is a sandbox. So let's get this out of the way for now. And put it away. And then go into cursor. This is the code. We don't want that one. We want the other one. The new one that we did last tutorial cursor this one so what we're going to do is as you can see right now we don't have an Android directory and let me make this bigger so you can see better oops that's too much um, there you can see there's only the app folder and we have the components and all that but no iOS and not Android yet. So what we're going to do now, we're going to stop this for one second, and we're going to make some changes. So the first thing we need to do is go into our, actually, let's go into Preview. Right now, this is the Expo Go. So let me should start to the app JSON. Let's do this first. Let's uh, fix our app JSON first. Oops, wrong one. And uh, let's let's um, go into app JSON. It's this one here, and where it says iOS. Android, so basically we're replacing this right here. Oops, we're replacing this area here with this code. So we'll go iOS, just copy cursor, and I went too far. It's this one.
and basically what I'm changing, I'm changing the identifier. You can change it to whatever name you want because later when we get to the later stages, this is going to be very important. So you gotta be, you gotta follow the bundle identifier with the com and then the name, your company name, whatever you wanna call it, and then the app name. In this case, it's not gonna be NFC, but I'm gonna change the name to, uh, uh, it's actually gonna be NFC. It's not gonna be tag counter. So let's just call it NFC. And that's the identi bundle identifier, we we'll save it. And now we're ready to build. So now, I'm gonna clear this. And now we do NPX Expo pre-build. And that's going to create two directories. It's going to create an Android directory right here and an iOS directory. So let's do NPX for pre-build. Now it's going from it's going from uh, from the Expo Go sandbox into the actual pre-build. So he created these two directories, Android and then iOS. It installed CocoaPods for uh, iOS, for Apple iOS, and it's done. So now if we go inside the Android, you can see that it's got all of the Android stuff, all the Kotlin and all that good stuff. If you, if you come from the Android world, you know what that is. And this is the iOS stuff. That's your Xcode project. That's your XC workspace. If you want to open it using Xcode, go right ahead. I'm going to stay away from Xcode and Android Studio as much as possible because uh, for people that only know React Native using VS Code, it can be a little bit daunting and challenging. So I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. So let's just close that. And now, if I go NFPX, uh, what is it? Run NPX. Run. I always get a confused. NPX Expo. Run iOS. Yes, because I'm using the other one. And it's going to build on the iOS, the pre build. And I'm going to stop it because it's going to take a little bit long. Okay, and we're finally done. And as you can see, it downloaded all of this stuff. It took a, a few minutes, so it might. That's why I stopped the video. And it, what it did, it installed all of that stuff into the iOS directory. Okay, and then it opened the app using the build tool. And now we're going to do the same thing for Android. Before that, I'm just gonna show you what it, the folder, there's a lot more stuff there than before. Now it has the NFC stuff, as you can see. And it's got, oh, that's why I changed the name to make sure. And now we're going to do the same, but for Android. So now I'm going to stop it again. And now I'm going to do, instead of iOS, I'm going to change it and do Android. And then I'm going to say yes. And it's going to do the same thing using Android. And now it's done with the uh, Android part. And as you can see, same thing. It did a lot of stuff under the hood. The C and C++ stuff for the React Native. Um, ain't that all done? So now, if we look at our Android, there's a lot more stuff in here. So now, let's do, stop it here and do a pre-build again to make sure everything is good. It finished the pre-build with all green marks, that's a good sign. And now, 
let's do let's do Android and yes make sure it works fine and I'll do it for iOS also to make sure that it's good if you're following along so now that's good so if I see it now I'm bringing it from my other screen here and there it is so it's running fine on the Android on my physical device so now I'm going to put that away and now run it using the iOS simulator and it works so we're golden so now if you get to this point you have a working pre-built where we can build on and I'm trying to make these tutorials not too long so in the next tutorial what we're going to do we're going to make some changes to the XML Android manifest file and to get that going and then we're going to start testing it using real tags so and but before we do that there's a couple other things that we have to do and we'll do that in the next tutorial this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another tutorial take care